I'm reasonably sure that a lot of people will think I've got something of a palette fetish. <laughs> Actually, they might not be wrong. I can't refuse a good palette. And look at that. These are gonna be a couple of window boxes, which I think I'm gonna put on a gate rather than the ones that I made before. Quite like the idea they're made out of Simpsons malt, <laughs> which brewers will know. Uh, the base ingredient for bloody good beer. This is another Simpsons malt one. It's good wood, good wood. But I also picked up, this is from a local brewery. You might have guessed that because I don't get through that much malt. Um, so I like to take all the crap out of the back of the van to go and get these. But now look at that for an unusual palette. It's unusual because I've got a saw that on that. It's fairly solid on both sides. Now, here's my idea is to saw it straight down the middle lengthways and put a bottom and you know on the bits and then even though there's gaps I thought you could just drop a grow bag in there or half a grow bag in there drop a grow bag in cut it off and that way you've got I don't know I'm not sure if that will work worth a go though I suppose You know what? Something's actually gone right for a change. So I think, obviously on the on the bottom side, I'll put a piece of wood across here. Drill some oils in it, and then I think, boom, 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 grow bags. Got to be worth a punt, isn't it? probably find that this is ever so slightly too narrow or something we'll get them in if not sort of like bin liners and then fill that full of ground but I do quite like the effect of that there where the old knot is I think it looks quite quite rustic and um, yeah I might give it a bit of a sand down give it a blast with a blowtorch and tomorrow we might have ourselves a couple more planters. Ooh, exciting. Well, that's about as good as it gets. Screw some wood onto the bottom. I still like the look of that where that knot is. Um, yeah, so we've got two more planters. Oh, we've got four more planters. I might, no, I don't know. I like the idea of having the Simpsons malt ones actually on the gates. They obscure more view of the drug dealers looking in. Uh, right, we had a few casualties today. Always burn the evidence. Oh, this, only been in the keyser two days since I cleaned all the keyser and that out. This is the Power Surge American Pale with Simcoe, Amarillo and Mosaic. I think those are the hops that I nicked off Chris Harrison's. I think it's his vacant gesture, I'm not sure. I don't know because my brain is about as frazzled as that shit in there at the moment but uh, yeah it's not had a chance to clear yet I'm keeping it vegan because I'll be sending a couple of cans to uh, some friends who's vegan that's why I'm keeping it vegan but uh, it will clear in its own good time let's see what it tastes like
Oh, that's going to be nice, that. It's got a nice balance of maltiness. It was only, uh, it's just Marisol, I think I used in there. That was all. So nicely mellow and uh, malty with a, a really decent. And I think that thing that I'm getting to do now is, I don't mind those really massively heavily hopped um, New England IPAs. Obviously I like them. I've been drinking a load from Triple Point Brewing in Sheffield over the last couple of days. They've made it into a bit of an art form. But um, occasionally it's nice just to go back to the more traditional APAs or sort of like more like the West Coast. Not massively overly dry hops, but enough to enough to give it some give it some character. Yeah. Oh. Uh, right, oh, we're going to call it a day now. We've made us planters. Oh no, just one more thing to show you. I say call it a day now. You may remember I said I wasn't going to give up on that little twig. So it's down there. It doesn't really look like that is going to be a green shoot but I'm not giving up on it I think I'm just going to leave it there in the uh, in the shelter <laughs> and uh, give it a chance the pot it was in or the keg it was in Charlotte's been out today and bought a sunflower wouldn't it be nice to have some sun for the poor little sunflower? Now, because its head is there, it's only a little head. I do like a little head. Is there? I haven't. All right, I haven't used that one for ages. You, you've got to allow me at least once. Um, so I don't think it's going to be a ten footer. If it is, we've got trouble because the wind down here is probably likely to to do it in. But uh, I suppose I could kind of. Oh, I don't know, put it at the end there and tie it up against the... I don't know. We'll see how it goes. But uh, we have a sunflower. Everything else is doing really well. Loads of new growth on these that came from Lidl. Uh, I can't keep overstating how brilliant I think Lidl is. Um, so, all looking good few more of these I hope you had a good weekend boys and girls and here's to the week ahead cheers